Today we have a special treat for you, a rare microphone specifically made for recording stereo information. Let's dive in. <laughs> so, stereo microphones are rare in that not everybody makes a microphone that's specifically designed for stereo. You, you might see them that are two cardioid capsules that are on top of each other. You might see them on the tops of little zoom recorders at an angle of XY or 120 degrees or something like that on the top of a handheld recorder. There are some really high-end, beautiful stereo mics made by Sheps and some of the classical recording styles, but I came across this one a few years back and I fell in love with it because it's a, a very unique design. It has two pressure zone microphones, so if you, I don't know if you could see this at home, but that is the actual microphone, and the microphones with PZMs, they have a hard surface, and they have a, a mic that's actually pointed towards that surface. And what happens is you get this hemispherical pickup pattern. Um, it, it's an omnidirectional mic, but because of this configuration, it's only picking up one half of a hemisphere. And it has two of those, and then it has this big foam baffle between the two that acts as a separator between what's coming from this direction and this direction. And in classical recording, this is great because you can just point it at a stage full of orchestral instruments that are naturally acoustically providing all the sound pressure level you need. But when we got it into the studio, we started getting really dirty with it and getting crazy. and. Some of the things that I like to do with it are put it right up close to drums and get a drum overhead that's almost right where the drummer's head is, but just above the drum kit. Um, and I love using it on close mic'd acoustic guitars. Sometimes it's nice to be able to point it and get a really wide stereo image on a really close mic'd acoustic guitar while somebody's singing. But um, there's other ways to get around that too. But just to show you what it sounds like on an acoustic guitar, let's dive into a couple of different styles that are gonna be played here by our homie, Christian. The first style that he's gonna play is a strumming pattern, just something to see what it's like when there's going jenga, jenga, jenga. Let's see what that feels like. Next we have finger pick style, which is, you know, picking while you're changing chords, doing arpeggios, things like that. Let's see what this sounds like, close mic'd. Now let's do a palm muted track something kind of rocky. Let's see what that feels like close mic'd with this beast. As you can see, it's a very versatile sounding thing that collapses to mono really cleanly because there's good phase coherence between the two microphones that are working together in stereo. If you have to collapse it down to mono for any reason, you're not losing a whole lot of information. And sometimes it's better to have a monoed guitar panned somewhere in a mix rather than having a really wide thing like this. So having a good phase stereo option is worth its weight in gold. That's one of the reasons I love this mic. Like I said before, I love using this on drums as an overhead mic. I like getting it tight in, just like directly across from where the drummer sits, right above everything, capturing the meat and potatoes of the actual drums vibrating. And I used it on this record by Jake Martini. Check it out. Special shout out thanks to Christian for playing the guitar in this. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. 
that's all right, Mama, I'll just wait. Wait till the summer, give it another try. If she still don't bite, I'll. 